It's no secret that this New Year's Eve will be very different from years past. In place of late night parties and countdown gatherings, many will likely opt to celebrate at home. But there are still a few options available for those who wish to venture out. This New Year's is just like any other year, except we're more than happy to get out of 2020. And so we're going to be throwing a party, a uh, New Year's Eve party from 5 till 9 o'clock. We'll be taking reservations. It'll be an amazing five course meal put on by myself and the chefs here at the Angry Cactus. Like the Angry Cactus, just down the street, Miss Hattie's is also hosting a New Year's Eve dinner, complete with safety guidelines in place. But we have a lot of space at this restaurant and a lot of ability to separate um, tables six feet so that we don't have to worry about not following CDC guidelines. It will be an early evening. It will not be a night, uh, a long night or an early morning night. The Angry Cactus is also taking steps to keep customers safe amidst the ongoing pandemic. We require our masks uh, for, for our employees. Um, and then, of course, you know, there's always eating and drinking in a safe manner that goes on at the Angry Cactus. And so we really look forward uh, to providing that atmosphere as well. Uh, we space our tables properly and things of that nature. Um, and then we just sell food. To attend either of these events, contact the restaurants. Local businesses recognize the need to do something that feels normal with all that's going on. People want to have a sense of normality and certainly going out for New Year's Eve has become customary for many people. But that custom here at Miss Hattie's generally is a uh, relatively early dinner. It's usually not a midnight one o'clock um, evening. Victor Glenn, KLST News.